Hello and welcome to Top Story. Georgia is accusing Russia of attempting to annex parts of its territory by stealth after Moscow announced it was deepening its support for two separatist regions in the former Soviet Republic. A decree issued on the orders of President Putin instructed the Russian government to cooperate with the de facto authorities in Abkhazia and South Ossetia in economic, trade and other areas. Moscow had hinted last year that if the West recognized the independence of Kosovo, it might do the same in the Georgian breakaway territories. This doesn't go that far, but it does signal a deepening of ties with the Abkhaz and Ossetian authorities. Georgia is seeking a special session of the UN Security Council to put pressure on the Russians to reconsider. NATO Secretary General Yap Dehup Shefa said he was deeply concerned by the Russian actions, which he said undermined Georgian sovereignty. Russia provided backing to the territories during their conflicts with Georgia in the early 90s and has supported them ever since, despite its official position of neutrality. Well, joining me now to discuss the latest Russian move is Michel Viato, a former bureau chief of the AFP news agency in Moscow. Thanks very much for being on Top Story. How, how significant a move is this by Russia? I mean, how, how close does this get them towards recognizing uh, Abkhazia and South Ossetia as independent? I don't think it is for tomorrow. It's a gesture, but in fact it is making official something which already existed because Russia relations with Abkhazia and Ossetia were very strong, but unofficial until now. Then uh, Russia had to do something about Kosovo and uh, about uh, Georgia uh, going towards NATO. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Putin and Mr. Medvedev uh, have to follow more or less what... Why did you say, why did you say had to, had to? Why, but because, well, uh, everybody thinks Putin is ruling uh, Russia uh, alone, uh, like a single uh, man uh, uh, ruler. It is not true. You, you have some kind of public opinion in Russia, some, some kind of political class. And, uh, well, the, uh, the feeling, of course, is still the nostalgia for the empire. And, well, seen with Russian eyes what the situation uh, in, in, in this area is. It is that Russia is losing. Uh, uh, Are you saying that the feeling in Russia is that, is that Putin lost out at the NATO summit in Bucharest and felt he had to react in some way? Uh, well, not entirely in Bucharest, because uh, uh, finally uh, Georgia hasn't been accepted as NATO members, uh, or, or anyway, there is no schedule, precise schedule for Georgia entering NATO. But still, but still, uh, well, uh, first about the Kosovo uh, uh, file. Uh, well, Russia uh, has come out very strongly uh, protesting against Kosovo independence and uh, all the ministers and Mr. Putin were against it. And then it happened. And what Russia can do about it? Nothing. So they have to show to themselves and to the world they are doing something. So they are doing it. But I don't think they can recognize Abkhazia or Ossetia tomorrow. Uh, why? Because, of course, if they accept such a principle in their area, it would mean for some Chechens, for instance, mm. or for... It's a dangerous Al precedent for course, Russia to set, Of course, it? Yeah. if, if uh, an area like Abkhazia is a small, very small territory, it is uh, maybe 8,000 square kilometers with 200,000 people, it's almost nothing. It's much smaller than Chechnya. But still, if they do it, the Chechen will say, why, why not us? But do you think, ne nevertheless, that there is an element of the Kosovo factor in this? That the, the, the fact that the West went ahead in Kosovo against the so publicly stated wishes of, of Russia that it shouldn't recognize Kosovo, this is in, in a way of saying, look, if you're going to play around with Kosovo in this way, we're going to start doing things that will irritate you as well. Of course, of course. It is, we, we, we have to answer. Well, we, we Russians. Uh, the Russia, Russia has to answer this challenge, and they're doing that. At, at the same time, of course, there is a Georgian factor. Georgia is a pain in the back of, of, of Moscow, of the Kremlin. And not only because they are going towards NATO, they are also more concrete factors factors like the pipelines, you know, the, the big war in the Russian world and, and all this area, Central Asia, it's building pipelines and Georgia has built a pipeline and has projects. To the build the reaction, the international reaction this time to, to the Russian actions has been very strong indeed. Uh, do you think that will have taken the Russians by surprise? You know, the, the US ambassador to the OSCE, for instance, accusing the, the, the Russians of taking the sides of separatists. 
Yeah, of maybe to a second Mars surprise, but I don't think so. They have a very good system of intelligence, and they know. And I don't think there will be sanctions. It, I, I don't believe it. So, well, you know, there are only words, strong words, but still only words. And I suppose there is another problem in this for Russia as well, in that the Abkhaz and South Ossetian card is a very useful one for the Russians to keep playing against the, the Georgians. If they recognize Abkhazia and South Ossetia, the card is lost. It's, so it, you play it once and you haven't got it anymore. I, I agree entirely with you. Abkhazia staying like it is in, in a sort of very uh, uncertain situation, it's a very good card to play against Georgia. And uh, it's the, the good mean of pressure. So it is in Russian interest to keep it this way. Is, is there a sense, too, do you think, in which the, the Russians are trying to provoke the Georgians to do something precipitate and stupid? Well, it looks quite like that, yes, because if Georgia, let's say, mass the troops at the border or uh, launch some kind of small operation at the border with Abkhazia, at the border, it's not a real border, but still it's a border, of course it will be uh, very, very bad for uh, Georgia's uh, products to enter NATO. Uh, already in Bucharest, Germany and some other countries said we cannot take Georgia into NATO because there is a tension with uh, its territory. If they do something not not very kind to uh, the Abkhaz or uh, Ossetians, well, then uh, uh, it will be a good, very good reason uh, for these people to refuse. And Georgia. the temptation within Georgia must be very strong to try to take some sort of action. Of course, in, in some way, you have in Georgia the same problem as with Palestinian refugees in Arab countries. You've got a quarter of a million of people who have been kicked out of Abkhazia. Uh, they, they left their homes in, in Abkhazia and they left their, their property, hotels, etc., etc. And of course they are pushing uh, uh, the Tbilisi government and Mr. Saakashvili to do something about it. But it's very difficult for him to do something about it. And that, I'm afraid, is where we're going to have turned it. Thanks to our guest, Michel Viato. Have a good weekend. Join us again on Monday. Goodbye for now.